the giant otter is, a, is an endangered species. It's a carnivore. It's, um, it's very large. It uh, measures about 1.8 meters long, so it's as, as, as long as a human being is tall. It's a very social species, very charismatic. It's active during the day. It has a family lifestyle, so you have the, you have the breeding pair with their offspring of several years, and the older offspring help to look after the younger offspring. There's a babysitting system. All the lakes in Manu have really just one, one group on each lake because the lakes are not large enough to be able to uh, accommodate more than one group. One of the most important territories in Manu is Kochikashu. Uh, there's almost always a group here on this lake uh, and it's a very well-known group. We know the, the life histories of animals going back uh, 10 years, 15 years. Yeah, today we, we, uh, we heard the contact call that they make when, when one of the group is missing and I think it was the cub today that was missing. And then, you know, immediately the other four members of the group reacted sort of nervously and they make the contact call to bring everybody together again. So I've personally been inside a, a den and it was a very big smooth chamber with smooth walls, very rounded. You could just imagine all the, the otter family huddled up there inside it. And on the outside, it's, uh, it's a mud bath. It's, you can see huge tracks because they have big, they have fingerprints like ours, the size of ours. And you see all their, their tracks and it's, yeah, it's, a, it's like, like pigs in mud. <laughs> Giant otters are endangered because in the decades of the 1940s to the 1970s, there was a, a demand for the pelt trade for their skins. Uh, they have a very beautiful, uh, dense, soft fur, and literally tens of thousands were, were killed in those years. And now uh, the, the population is slowly recovering in many areas, but new threats are things like uh, gold mining, uh, uh, habitat fragmentation and uh, degradation and uh, logging, so uh, giant otters are very susceptible to these threats. It's very rewarding, very fulfilling uh, to, to, to become involved with them. And also, because I know that they are endangered and because they, have, they are in problems in other areas, I know that the work we will do here in Kashu will, will benefit other populations in South America or in Peru.